Hey everyone, welcome back to another World of Warship Splits video. So if you guys saw my community post, I was sorely tempted and I could not resist the sonar suite. Now you can see here, I have that FR-25, I, I think there was a Blitz Pass ship. Got that FR-25, had the camo, so I knew I had two free plays on the sonar sweep so I didn't have to go the full uh, the full distance on it so this cost me about 20,000 gold to get the black Columbo the camouflage 2,000 more XP on Sansonetti and I'm gonna be honest with you some desperately needed gold blueprints so for 20k that's not a, that's not a bad deal for a tier 10 premium it's camouflage and the extra goodies. So, I don't know if you... <laughs> just saying, you know, for 20k, that's not bad. 20k runs you, uh... Yeah, pretty well, about 50 bucks or so. Depending on how, hopefully you got some free gold. But 50, 60 bucks there, and I guess it's not... When you, when you make it... When, it, when you add up the numbers there, it sounds a lot worse than it is. So, is it a sweet deal? Maybe not, but I, I had to. I had the gold sitting there, and I had to do it. So, anyways, the Black Columbo. Now, I remember when this thing was coming out, and Sly was testing it live on a Wednesday night. And my first thought is, the stats are the same as the regular Columbo. We're just swapping out precise aim for spotter plane. And my first thought to him, or my first comment to him was, boy, you're really going to miss the spotter plane. That this is just, I didn't even know if it was a side grade at that time. Because, you know, I like having that extra, you know, that extra range to work with. So, I, like I said, I, I was really, really unsure about the ship or what I thought about it. And then... It was a free key event. My wife got one of the free keys. She won the ship. So I got to take a peek at it with her, you know, with, 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 with her having it. So, and that really kind of changed my mind on the ship going, okay, it's just as good as the Columbo, which I rate very high at tier 10. And if you guys watch the tier 10 tier list that I made with Sly, I should have held my ground on this ship. Um, you know, I put Columbo up, and I think in competitive, and I wanted to put this ship up there as well, but I, you know, Sly talked me out of it by just the simple fact that it's it's kind of a side grade, and you got to pay for it. So, but I let the ship fall too far. I honestly did. It was, it, this is a fantastic ship. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, let's just go this way. Stats-wise, guys, it is literally the same stats as Columbo, the tech tree version. Only thing we're changing out is spotter plane two for precise aim two. Everything else is identical. Now Hiromi would have to I'd have to see some numbers from Hiromi. This one feels a little more accurate. I think the I almost want to say the dispersion seems a little bit wider for a max dispersion, but it seems like the Sigma value's higher than the uh, Tech Tree version. Like I said, it feels, a, you know, with that increased Sigma, it feels a little more accurate to me. But that's all I can, you know, I'm just going by how it feels to me. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the ship, though. Obviously, Elite Gun Operator's a no-brainer here. You need to get as much time off that reload as possible. Um, we got the camouflage that came with the ship. Good, nice things for the ship. Hit points, firing range, shell dispersion. Um, pretty simple battle honors. Play 10 battles. Destroy two enemy battleships in a battle. Not that hard. Like I said, we got sap. We got auto secondaries. We got fuel smoke 3, just like the tech tree version. We're just swapping out for precise aim 2. Which, unfortunately, unless there's an Italian commander that I don't know about that gives you a... Better marksman, like a marksman plus. 
even running, um, so on my wife's account, she's got Sansonetti that she brings over here, and she's set up for the extra precise aim and the marksman. You still can't get a second salvo off with a precise aim skill on. So, I'm kind of limited right now. This is my, my uh, obviously my Columbo commander. I'm going to play around with it a little bit. Let's see what I got here. You know, I might toss Sansonetti on here. Sansonetti does work with this ship. Um, I'm not going to lie. You know, my wife's averaging about, I don't know, 81, 82,000 in this ship, and she's not a BB main by any stretch of the imagination. So, this is what I'm running on this ship, because like I said, my Tech Tree, this is my Tech Tree Columbo Commander. Um, I said, same stats, though. Same survivability, nice torpedo damage reduction, not pretty good citadel and, and damage reduction in general. Okay fire and flooding resistance, nice hit points. Not terribly, uh, oh, it's not totally a brick. Accelerates okay. Turn time's pretty average for the tier. You know, I've got my reload time down to, I think with the uh, supplies on, we're just under 29 seconds. The one downside of this ship. No spotter plane, so 14 and a half kilometers is as far as you're getting with these main guns. Same thing with Columbo, though. 18, 1800 alpha for your SAP and your AP. Uh, turret traverse speed is not bad, especially since you know the uh, rear turret are uh, 360. Nice secondaries. Wish they reloaded just a hair quicker, but that might make the ship a little too OP, I think. But 8 second reload on the uh, 6x3s, not bad. Nice auto secondaries. Again, I wish they reloaded just a hair faster. Your AAs, it's there. It's nothing great. And with my surface detection build, I've got it down to, with supplies on, we're under 10 kilometers for, sur for surface detection. So it's really nice for sneaking up on destroyers and such and deleting them with one salvo. Uh, I'm running main battery mod 3, get better dispersion. I want to hit as many shells as I can with these 16-gun uh, salvos. Run an acceleration. Uh, you know, argument can be made for steering. I think either one works well. And, and, you know, you could run steering gear mod 2 here and get your uh, maneuverability a little bit better. I, I prefer the surface detection just to be able to get into better positions and ambush a light cruiser or a destroyer if possible. And then supplies, basic supplies, guys. High-grade coal for better detect, uh, surface detection. Improved crew rations. Try to help out with that abysmal main battery reload time. And just to give it a little extra speed and a little extra traverse help, that's why I'm running refined diesel on here. I don't think there's very much else to talk about. You know, like I said, I was... When I first saw it, I was thinking barely a side grade, if that, for this... Uh, off of the uh, Tech Tree version. And, and I said, I wish I would have really uh, held my ground with Sly. And I should never have dropped this ship down, even having to pay for it. It is a great ship. If you don't feel like running or uh, grinding through the Tech Line to get the Tech Tree version up, you know, it's not a bad sonar sweep getting Sansonetti. Sansonetti will work well for this ship. I see, like I said, I see my wife do it with the SAP Plus. Um, Still very strong ship. So with that, I've got my uh, my first official game with the uh, with the ship on my account. Let you guys see that, and you guys can make your own determination of it. Hey, what you think? The sonar sweep's still active for a couple days, and it's not a terrible deal if you have the uh, have that destroyer. So uh, with that, I'll get the gameplay up, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, well, we got Midway, Yamato, Alsace, a Black Iowa, Worcester, Bot, Brindisi, Bot, Z46. Oh, somebody else got a Black Colombo. And St. Vincent. Huh. Friar's Lantern. I like this map. All right, so we got this Black Colombo with me. 
Bot Destroyer, there's the Midway, St. Vincent, Paolo Emilio. And here comes the aircraft carrier. Oh, goody. Well, I was going to turn to the aircraft carrier, see if I can get some extra AA, but he uh, he's turning away from me. We slow down. Maybe I can link up with the other Colombo here and merge our piddly AA defense. Alright, he's going to torp drop me for sure. Let's see if we can dodge out of any of this. Oh, he dodged one. And then, like you guys notice, I just hit the damage control there on the double fires right before the torpedoes hit so I could put the fires out and not get flooded. Alright, Z-46, Bot Vin Vendizi. Now we can head to A-Cap, though. Alright, he went dark. Ooh, Midway. Let's see what the sap does. Man, I know what the sap will do, but let's see what the sap does. Now, that's without a precise aim up at, like, we were pushing almost 13 kilometers at that point. 13 hit to Citadel with the sap. And Alsace is just barreling in. This ought to be, uh, we should make short work of him. Yamato, I don't think it's cleared the island to get a shot off on me. So we can just concentrate up. We're going to precise aim this shot since he's nose into us. Another 13, uh, 13 hits. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know how much fun this ship is. I love it. All right, we got our first heal uh, coming. We got a heal coming back. Let those auto secondaries go to work. All right, all right. Didn't have to shoot my main guns off. All right, let's go for uh, Yamato here. I'm going to shoot at him, and I think I'm going to pop smoke to make this turn. Just in case he's peeking at me. Yeah, nine, nine hits on that, not bad. All right. Oh, hello, Midway. Slow down a little bit, let these guns get turned on him. Not terrible on a, on a ship that's traveling away there like that. All right. That Black Columbus got him, so we're going to work on Yamato. <clears throat> now, I'm curious here. Where are we at? We're almost at max range. I got a precise aim coming up. I think I'm going to use it. Let's see how many shots we can get on this. I mean, he's traveling and turning, but let's see what we can get out of this. Nine hits. That's that's pretty good. I said that's max range, so that, that was pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. All right, there's Worcester. Now, one thing I noticed with this ship, seeing my wife play it, I bet you I might have trouble hitting Worcester. Is he slowing down? No, he's uh, crap. He is slowing down. I should have hold. I should have held that shot. That's my bad. Alright, I'm going to pop smoke here because Yamato's clearing the island. I don't want him shooting at me. And at least I'm out. Right, somebody else just hit him pretty good, so... Let's try to hit the Worcester. He's turning, I think. I'm going to aim that a little high. Yeah, he ducked under a bunch of that. Alright, Yamato's not paying attention. That's good. Alright, I got Black Iowa over there to worry about. Yamato's out. Alright, we got 10 seconds on a shot from Worcester. Damage control to double fire. Alright, we escaped the brunt of uh, that Black Iowa salvo. Alright, Worcester's almost dead. Alright, let's, uh, 
Don't set me on fire. Don't set me on fire. Thank you. The Black Iowa sets me on fire. Alrighty then. Time to brawl the Black Iowa. I got smoke coming back in like five seconds on triple fire. Let's see if I can strip some main guns off this guy though. Nice. We'll pop smoke here. I'm sure he can't see me. I am the definition of stealth. My auto secondaries will take him out. And I should survive this. And that's the game. That's the game. One sixteen. That's a good ship. It's really a solid ship, guys. Uh, St. Vincent did a good job there. Let's see our stats. So here, three Citadels, 145 secondaries. Nice. Nice game. Very nice game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.